watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a star of stage, screen, and television here with me, <laughs> Lynn Smith. Hi, Lynn. How are you? Good to see you, Thanks Mark. Thanks for taking time. I know you're getting ready to go on a vacay. I am getting ready so, to go on vacay. I cut all my hair off so I can shake it like a dog and come out of the pool. I wish I could say that. I, 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 I didn't cut it all off because I just don't have it. But, um, you know, fresh off the wonderful event for the Frederick Douglass um, at the library mm -hmm. with, you know, the other day that people get to see on TV mm -hmm. if they didn't make it. The room was filled. It was great. Mm -hmm. But you got August events coming up. We're, we're still in July, but we're getting ready for August. We got the world-famous ice cream social. We do. You know, I can't believe we started this in the fall of 2014. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be coming up on our fifth anniversary. Wow. So this ice cream social, we hold it on a Sunday, mm -hmm. but of course we spell it like a Sunday, S-U-N-D-A-E. Right. So it's Sunday, August 19th. It's the day after Summerfest. Right. So we start at one o'clock in the garden and a very nice young man, Elijah Swain, who is a Tai Chi instructor comes mm -hmm. and gives everybody a very gentle, gentle introduction to Tai Chi. Okay. And then Willie Wilson, who of course was a teacher of history for many years at Brockton High, does a very short walkabout downtown just to center the folks on the Liberty Tree, on the Underground Railroad, on Edward Bennett, where Frederick Douglass came to Brockton and spoke just a little bit of history. It's only a half an hour walk. Mm -hmm. And then we have a new component this year that we're kind of excited about. Okay, tell me. So one of our members, Richard Caldwell, has a niece, and she runs a farm out in Hubbardston, Mass., which is out in the western part yep. of the state. And you know, another word for donkey is ass. Okay. So it's called the Friendly Ass Farm okay. because yeah. of the donkeys. Okay. And one of the critters that she has is a miniature horse, not a pony, okay. but a miniature horse named Dusty, okay. who has been trained to be a comfort animal. Okay. So Dusty visits nursing homes, hospitals, children's warm wards. Dusty is only about the size of a dog. When I said to her, how are you going to get Dusty to... Brockton, she says, oh, he sits in the back seat of my SUV. Wow. Okay. There <laughs> now, you go. I think she might have been joking, but it's a miniature horse. Think of like a Newfoundland dog about that well, we size. we had one in the studio. I told you that did story. Did you? Oh, when was Ron that? Ron Van Dam did something, um, but unfortunately, got scared. It got a little scared, so, so it might have pooped a little bit. Yeah, yeah. and that wasn't. That was not a fun right. Event. So right. we, since we have a no animal policy, yeah, right now, cause, yeah. Well, of course, I mean, we're outdoors. Enough, uh, <laughs> you know what? You don't want to shovel that too. Well, in a garden, you can use it yep, as exactly. compost. So we're yep. very happy. But I think the kids will have a lot of fun just um, taking a few selfies with uh, Dusty and just learning a little bit. Because I know that Brockton Public Schools is doing a lot of work. I know at the Gilmore School, they're doing a lot of work around calm classrooms, right. teaching children how to center themselves, how to feel when their anxiety gets up, how to learn how to um, sort of measure themselves back down. Can you teach us too? I think I need it, to tell yeah. you the truth. Yeah. So I thought that that would be kind of nice. And then we have a very nice young man, Ben McGrath. He comes, he's bringing his keyboard, and so we have live music. So we do the Tai Chi, we do the history st stroll, we'll get a chance to visit a little bit with Dusty. And then about three o'clock, we roll out the ice cream, we roll out the hot fudge, we roll out the strawberries, we put the nuts on the side, just in case anyone is um, allergic, and all the kiddos get a, uh, oh, and real whipped cream, and all the kiddos get it's a little bit of treat. Free. And it is free. We're so so blessed that we have such great support. And this year, Good Samaritan Medical Center is celebrating its 50th anniversary. Okay. So they helped us out a little bit with the public reading that we did in the park. You right. came and covered yep. that. Yep. And so they're helping us offset the costs of the ice cream oh, nice. uh, social as well. So we're really thrilled about that because as you know, the library, the Tada, we called it, that Frederick Douglass traveling exhibit was created because this is the anniversary, the 200 year anniversary of his birth. Right. And so we've joined cities across the United States to sort of celebrate that and remind people of the message that he gave us almost 200 years ago that we're still struggling um, today. And we did it in different 
languages. Though. We did. Only Wasn't that place. great? The only city that does it. So yeah. we, we had... You um, threw me for a curveball when you did Italian. I did Italian. We had Lithuanian. We had Haitian Creole, Cape Verde Creole. Uh, we had Gaelic. I yeah. mean, it's, it's really wonderful. And even at the library event, yeah. I don't know whether it was picked up, but I asked people, we went around the room, that was great. and everybody identified where their ancestors were from. Wasn't it funny when that person said Brooklyn, New York? That was great. <laughs> that, that was, was great. So and and Judy Calhoun, who was a good friend of mine, uh, said Cuba, yeah, where my Cuba. father was born. So most people don't know that yeah. about me, yeah. but mom was born in Boston and dad was born in Atlanta. So when they when they talk Spanish, my grandparents, they didn't want me to know what they were saying. There you go. My brother lives in Miami. He's 40 years Spanish and 40 years Haitian Creole. Yep. I wish there I, you uh, go. I tell my students it's always good to know another language. Now, this is unfortunately the first day of my vacation. I've been uh, there before. You have. So you won't see me, but we'll, we'll be there. All right, we'll find good. someone to be there. And Good. I, I, um, now you have a you have a Facebook page. And we more do, yeah. And so I tell people if there's any question about the weather, mm -hmm. go to our Facebook page, Frederick Douglass Neighborhood Association, and we'll make the call that morning because you know the thunderstorms over the last couple of weeks have kind of put the damper on things. So sure. we'll make a decision. But Sunday, April nineteenth. 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock, because, you know, some little kids, they just want the ice cream, so exactly. it's hard to keep them going. Right. Uh, we have live music. We have our volunteers that will help. We have the support from Good Samaritan Medical Center. And, you know, we'll tell a little bit about the history of Frederick Douglass and how he's connected and to our community. That's Willie, because Willie really knows yeah. it. He's very good yeah. at explaining it. He wasn't my teacher. He was the chair of the department at the time, but my history teachers in the Brockton Public right. Schools were who shaped me and formed me. He's a phenomenal Yeah, guy. he's unbelievable. I, I was involved in the Board of Historical Society when Willie was the yeah. curator over yeah. there. Yeah. Now, you have a, a, an email as well. We do. We have fdnabrockton at gmail.com, or anybody can call me on my cell, Lynn Smith, 774-381-8050. So if you have any questions at all, there's plenty of free parking close by because the city lots are empty on a Sunday. Sunday, so there's no worry about parking. And if you can't make it that day, in the next week or so, take a ride by the garden and stop in. It's in full bloom now. It's really beautiful. All of the dahlias are out. All of the phlox are out. The roses are out. The butterfly bush is out. It's in full blown color right now. A living history display with all yeah. the names of all it's the really, people. Yeah, so it's it's a lovely little spot. Keep doing what you're doing and enjoy your vacation. Thank you very much, okay. Mark. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.